When two absolute behemoths duel like the vegan eaters and the meat eaters, you bet your toenails that we're gonna get a battle more entertaining than seeing Fifty Shades of Grey. Because in this video, we got Marvel's heavy hitters, Iron Man and Captain America, decking it out to protect the world in my all-time favorite comic series, Marvel Civil War. So we're starting this anime off at the point where Spider-Man reveals his identity to the world, officially subscribing to Tony's beliefs that superheroes should sign their rights away to the government. Meanwhile, Tony's team goes Pokemon hunting for more people to join their team, such as Black Panther, Doctor Strange, and Emma Frost. But all of them decline spots on his esports team. Whereas for Captain in America, they're kind of empty-handed because anyone who joins their team, they are considered a criminal for not signing their rights away to the government. But there are a few strong bubble guppies who sided with Cap because they believe in what he's saying. But it wasn't until Cap, Daredevil, Hercules, and Goliath got a message about a petrochemical plant being on fire and people inside dying. So they quickly zoom over there just for them to realize that it's a trap from Tony. And immediately, Iron Man puts to sleep the only two teleporters Cap has, and Iron Man is here to arrest him and his boy band. But the thing is that Tony doesn't want to arrest him. He wants to settle this feud like boyfriend-girlfriend and come to an agreement where they could still do the job that they love. So after a little thinking, Steve was willing to hear Tony out. So everything seems to be going smoothly like Mr. Clean's head, and progress was being made and there would be no war. But it's not until Tony realized that Cal put a little thing on him that shocked him and depowered his suit. So now the real war begins, because everyone in this royal rumble is out for blood. Especially Spider-Man, who's trying to hold down the fort until Iron Man gets up. It makes some decent progress against Cap, and that progress was well utilized, because Tony gets up from his beauty nap, and with all his force, he kamikazes into Cap, and with these two on their own, they begin to fight to the death. But it's looking really bad for Steve, and Hercules recognizes this. So he bulldozes over all of these chihuahuas and gets caught in a lightning strike. And to everyone's shock, a new challenger approaches, and it's the god of thunder who's ready to smash. And he does not waste any time doing Tony's hard work. The weight of a dying star is just beating everyone on Cap's team like an egg. Meanwhile, however, Tony once again asks Cap to surrender. But this goofy goober doesn't know when to quit and tries to hold on a little longer. But Tony isn't gonna let that happen. And nor is Hercules, because he cowabungas into this tango and explodes these guys to oblivion. And while Hercules is dealing with Tony, Falcon is saving Cap. So once again, things seem to be going very dandy in the Marvel Thunderdome over here. But it's not until stuff gets more lopsided than Will Poulter's eyebrows, because as Goliath was about to stomp on Thor, he blasts out a mega beam of thunder and piercing through his heart like an arrow. And it was at this moment the battle was done, because everyone was distracted by what Thor just did. But there was no time to be distracted, because this murderous poodle was about to make a lightning haymaker on Cap's team, but someone came in time to protect them. And that Giga Chad was the Invisible Woman, which is the hero who's fighting for Iron Man, by the way. And this gave these guys enough time for Cloak to recover and help Cap's team escape this gruesome playdate. And that's about it. Subscribe and I'll see you later.